Hey guys, it's Chris. Thank you for tuning into my video and my new channel. I'm gonna be showing you guys today how I retouch skin for beauty photography. So this is part one of I think about like three or four videos that I'm doing. Uh, the first step that I'm gonna show you today is spot healing and how I achieved that on this photo uh, that I did with Ashley, who was my model for this beauty sh um, shoot that she wanted to do. Thank you, Ashley for allowing me to use this photo for the purposes of this video. Now, um, normally when I open up my photo from Lightroom into Photoshop, the first thing I do is duplicate the layer and rename it. I don't like to work on my background layer in case I need to go back to that for any reason um, and the original photo. So now I'm gonna select my spot healing tool and normally what I use this for in my initial step for my retouching is to get rid of any wrinkles or you know blemishes um, patches dark spots pimples uh, fine unwanted fine hair like anything like that on the surface of the skin that I just need to remove so that I can have a clean layer of skin to retouch when I move on to my next step which is gonna be my frequency separation step um, I don't like to spend too much time on this part as far as the spot healing because I don't think it's necessary. Well, well, it depends really on like the skin um, that you're dealing with. So Ashley's skin was like damn near perfect. So I didn't have to do too much work in this initial process. So I guess it does really kind of de de depend on um, the skin, the type of skin that you're dealing with for um, that specific photo so because hers was already so great um, I didn't have to do or I don't think I had to do too much for this so I'm just gonna quickly finish up here on her ears um, and run through like the wrinkles on her neck and just you know kind of like speed this up so you guys can have an idea of what the before and after image can look like so you know keep watching guys thanks again um don't forget to go ahead and hit the red subscribe button below and the bell post notification button so that when i start posting more of these videos which i am gonna do uh you guys will get notified and updated on that so you can always come and watch them and use them as much as you want because i really do enjoy you know getting questions about how i do this and sharing this with you so go ahead and hit that subscribe button don't forget bell button to get those notifications and I'm gonna quickly speed this up so we can get through this and I will be right back Cold blood. guys this is the before and after so yeah like I said she already had great skin there wasn't much to do so moving on to our next step frequency separation don't forget to like subscribe hit the bell button and comment 